that is my responsibility today to let you know the concept of Sikh Dharma. The Akal Takht, the throne of the deathlessness, undying, the throne of the undying. What is it? What is it all about? And what is happening? So you should understand and decide why you want to be a Sikh or not. I mean, don't just walk in and just try to be a Sikh. You Sikh Dharma is not that you want to be a Sikh Dharma. It is, it's a practical consciousness. It's not something that you wear white or you wear blue or you wear orange and you do all that stuff and you can call yourself a Sikh. There is a certain concept of activity which is expected out of Sikh. There is a certain concept of intelligence which is expected out of Sikh. There is a certain behavior, commitment and character which is expected out of Sikh. There is a certain way of talking, behaving, asa ishto pasana khan paan paran. That is all included. And then a Sikh has to be intuitive, he has to be successful, he has to be painlessly overcoming the hurdles. And where you get that energy? Today, in the United States, everybody is freaking out, nobody has commitment, nobody has a character. People wear white in the morning, they wear dark in the night, they run around, they do this, they do that. There are so many things going on, and don't misunderstand, we don't know. We know more than you know, but we don't say something. What we are saying is to tell you the lack of intelligence, lack of character, lack of good habits are with you because parts you, you are animal, parts you, you are a human, and parts you, you are divine. There are three parts of you. Which part is majority? That part you are. When you are bitchy, you are itchy, you are disputing, you are fighting, you are quarreling, you are under the senses. And you are just behaving like an irritated animal full of fleas. And that's what you are. You are no different than my dog who's yelling, screaming, scratching himself because there are a lot of fleas in him. And that is your insecurities, fleas. I understand that I can't see your coat, but I must be blind not to see it. Your coat full of fleas and your body full of wounds and itches. Your subtle body f bleeding under the power of the infinity of pain is can be seen and is a human joke. And that's not that we are not worried about. We are worried about. We are worried about the soul which has come, which is the source of this body, which is holding you. You are nothing. Never you was. Never you will be. Neither you are. As a human being, even animals joke at you. Because at least they have one fixed concept. You have three concepts. But basically, majority of your behavior is based on your animal nature. The beast in you. And then, once in a while, you reach to be a human, where you have some kindness, some conception, some reality, some giving, some helping. You think you are a saint. Forget about it. You are not a saint. You are just trying to be who you should be to begin with. Just a basic human nature. Basic. You call it saintliness. It's not at all. It's much less than that. It is just like a trained dog. Suddha Sag. There's a word in spirituality in scripture, Suddha Sag, a trained dog. And you call yourself saint and you call yourself super religious and you call yourself, no, 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 you have not yet touched the human, I'm not talking to you. I'm not yet reached that point. So please understand what basically the concept is. And then there's a divine in you which is very secretly divided by you, which you are what you are, who you want to deal with. You hate people, you don't like a lot of people, you have no openness of your heart to come and say, hug anybody. You value yourself on earth, on dirt, on dust of it. Your values and conception and projection are based on what you really understand, what your status on this earth is. 
My God, can you believe it? You have never considered your status with the heavens? With your ultimate home, with your ultimate alma meter of your concept of life and your conception of your personality? The source of your prana? The acknowledgement of individual individuality in which you live and you receive and perceive and uh, keep going? You know how dirty and ugly it is? Have you ever thought of it? And over and above that, there are 22 religions in the world and you call yourself Sikhs. And being a Sikh, you are ruled by a Kaltat. The throne, the sovereign throne of deathlessness. Imagine that you are the subject in objectivity. You do not recognize death. Your personality is, you can't even stand a hot wind. Your poverty is that you cannot meet an ordinary person. You are slave to your status. You are state to your ambitions. You are state to your conception. You are, you are a slave to your dreams. The state of consciousness which you present is totally environmental, circumstantial, earthbound. And you talk of heavens, can you even spell it? You are the subject of the throne which is known as Akal Takht. Akal means where no call, no death. Throne of the deathless. Ever living concept you are seeking. Well, I have been a yogi and thank God I was. And thank God I am. At least I can understand unitedly between heaven, hell, earth, and grace. And I'm sharing with you a thought. In the form of an animal, to be a human is a duality in itself. In the form of a human, to be a human is the base. And that base has to grow to seek to become a subject with the objectivity to make yourself to be under the deathlessness of the Akal Takht. That's what we are celebrating. 